I got a few announcements and questions, but first I need to apologize. Yesterday's episode's end card, that being Bloodborne episode 6 for those of you in the future, uh, was wrong. Initially, it was right. I meant to release a Fire Emblem episode with face cam today, but multiple unforeseen and unpreventable problems occurred with both the face cam footage and the audio. I could release it again without the face cam, but the audio would be lackluster and I wouldn't be able to take pride in the episodes. I never want to release an episode just for the sake of releasing it. I want to be able to take pride in my work. As a consequence, I will not be able to continue my Fire Emblem Path of Radiance playthrough without re-recording multiple episodes. This situation has left a bad taste in my mouth, and I don't think I could re-record them right now and have them still be as entertaining, if not more so, than the ones I've lost. I may do this much later in the future, but at least for a few months, my Fire Emblem playthrough is dead. Accept this Dark Souls footage as an apology. Now then, on to more positive things. I have 12 days before Dark Souls 3 comes out, which means one of three scenarios. Scenario 1, 12 episodes of Bloodborne. Scenario 2, 6 or more episodes of Bloodborne and either a short playthrough of something else or a few one-episode playthroughs. Scenario 3. I begin releasing two episodes a day, meaning 12 episodes of Bloodborne, 12 episodes of another short playthrough, and this would extend into my Dark Souls 3 playthrough. I personally would love to release more than one episode a day, but as this channel is still young, I fear I may alienate potential viewers who don't have enough time in their day to watch more than one episode a day. In other words, I don't want to flood you with content to the point where you feel uncomfortable about not being able to keep up with it. So unless I get an overwhelming amount of comments telling me to go Scenario 3 and that they'll be able to keep up no problem, then I won't be doing that. Scenarios 1 and 2 are both equally doable, so please vote away. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can vote anonymously by clicking that lowercase i in the top right part of this video to use a poll, or you can email me at this thing I put on the screen. Or you could do all three. Go nuts, dude. So that's my big request from this announcement that you must do. I'm serious here. I need the feedback this time. I don't care if you're just a passerby from Twitter or some other site. I don't care if you aren't a subscriber. Vote anyways. If you are a subscriber, then why the fudge would you not want to give me feedback here? Seriously. Help me out, man. Please. I really need it. Alright, here's a more fun question. Out of my semi-vast library of games, which should I play? Here's the list, right here on the screen. You can see it. Yes. Probably. Hopefully. Good. Feel free to recommend games that aren't on this list. Particularly any free-to-play games or things that I could use as one-off games, because most of these would end up being a series, and if we go with Scenario 2, I'll probably need some shorter games or some one-off games. And by one-off, I mean it'd be a short playthrough with one episode in it. Keep in mind that I may not be able to play these immediately, as it depends on how my schedule is affected by your feedback. I don't care if you think your pick for which game I should play will be in a minority. Tell me anyways. This channel is small. Every one of you has a voice. And whether or not the game is popular doesn't matter to me. This channel is for you, the individual viewer. But if you don't speak up, then I can't read your mind, and thus, I can never please you. I can't guarantee I'll do everything you want immediately, but I will keep it in mind, and it'll likely be done eventually. Unless, of course, I have a very good reason not to. Examples of scenarios like that. Show me your dick! I'm not doing that. Besides, <laughs> that isn't a game recommendation, or one of the three scenarios I mentioned earlier. Why would you say that? Example number two, play Minecraft challenges. There are 20 bazillion channels out there already doing that. There's no way I can currently compete with them. That market is completely flooded. That isn't to say I won't play mainstream or popular games. I consider Dark Souls 3 to be a mainstream and a popular game, but certain games are way overplayed and I don't think I could do their fan bases justice. An alternative to the Minecraft challenge thing would be that I could play Minecraft survival mode though. That'd be a nice way for you guys to get to know me and my thought pattern. So just because something's mainstream, you can still suggest it, I just might play it in a different way. So basically, most games that don't cost me over $100 to play are fair game, as well as all games on this list here. 
So yeah, that's about it. Sorry for missing today's episode, and please vote. Give me feedback, comment. I don't care how you do it, just do it. I really, really need it. Please, don't make me beg, man. I'm pretty much already begging, alright? Look what you've done to me. I'm on my knees. I'm about to cry, alright? Seriously. Okay, that's all the begging you get. Go do the things now if you haven't already. I'll put a reminder of what the things are on the screen. Thanks, and have a nice day.